so welcome back in this video we'll see the uh, cobol intrinsic function length of the inbuilt function in cobol uh, are also referred to as intrinsic functions okay so this i wanted to cover more of intrinsic function at the later part of my videos uh, because there are a wide variety of intrinsic functions which you'll find it very useful but length of typically is quite useful when you guys are getting confused with the size occupied by different data types especially with the numeric uh, this one along with com com1 com2 com3 sign leading separate and edited picture clauses the size of the uh, you know data item changes based on the you know uh, pick clause so if you are getting confused then copal provides an intrinsic function called length of to find the size of this particular Uh, data type, okay. S nine of four, S nine of four, sign leading separate. S nine of zero five dot nine nine. S nine of six comp. I've just declared, you know, arbitrarily some uh, different kinds of, uh, you know, data types, and we are just displaying the length of these data types, okay. Because sometimes what happens, we do get confused. And if you want to find the size of the group item and you don't have file aid or file manager. then you can you you can code this program you know a simple program where you have the group variable followed by the elementary data items and just display the length of each item you know here i'm just using the intrinsic function length of followed by the name of the data item okay i have done it for all the elements elementary item data item 1 2 3 comp comp1 comp2 comp3 okay comp1 and comp2 don't have a pick clause remember that okay and finally i have displayed the length of the group so i'll just do what i'm displaying the length of the group so we'll save it we'll go to the uh, spool and directly compile it from there the name of the program is uh, coblen so i'll just do a mask change compilation has gone fine so i'll just execute it So I'll go to the spool sysout. So if you look at the first element, it is S nine of four. So if I go to the uh, data types now, it is S nine of four. So this takes four bytes. Sign is superimposed on the last byte, so it just takes four bytes. Now here I'm explicitly coding sign leading separate. So this occupies five bytes. Four for the you know numeric uh, data item. followed by sign takes a separate byte so let's go back to the spool see if you see here takes five bytes elementary data item 3 is uh, s9 no, sorry 9 of 5 dot 9 5 bytes 2 bytes after the decimal remember dot is a explicit period you are specifying the edited picture clause dot here so this is 5 plus 1 plus 2 that will be 8 bytes so it is 8 bytes comp was s9 of 6 comp remember s9 of 1 to s9 of 4 comp occupies half word half word is 2 bytes s9 of 5 to s9 of 9 comp occupies full word that is 4 bytes s9 of 10 comp to s9 of 18 comp occupies 8 bytes double word comp one does not have a pick clause it takes one full word that is 4 bytes one word is 4 bytes comp two is a double word so it takes 8 bytes now here i have declared i think s9 of 8 v9 of 2 so let's go to the program here I have declared S nine of eight, V nine of two, comp three. So add eight plus two, that is ten. Ten plus one for the you know half. Actually, it's half a byte. So I am I am I am adding one and dividing by two. Ten plus one by two, which comes to five point five. 
so half a byte is wasted actually for a uh, any com3 data item which is a even number so most of your installations if you have seen the total whatever they give as s9 of 7 v99 or s9 of uh, 5 v99 v9 of 2 is also you know you can also refer it as v99 so they generally the total uh, size of the this one they take it as an odd multiple an odd multiple will give you additional half byte for storing the sign if you take an even number half a byte is actually wasted so since it is five and a half bytes the remaining half byte is sort of a, uh, you know it is wasted so generally it is not recommended to have a even total so if I make it as S9 of 9, V9 of 2 also, then also you will get a same result. 9 plus 2 is 11, 11 plus 1 by 2, that will come as 6 bytes. So if we look at the spool here, we have got 6 bytes. It is S9 of 8, V9 of 2, it is showing as 6 bytes. So finally, when you add all these things, you should get 39, that is the group. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17. 17 plus 4 21, 21 plus 4 25, 25 plus 8 33, 33 plus 6 is 35. That is the total size. Of the group. So if you just want to like you know you have a record which has too many data items and you are not sure because there might be a lot of redefines clause and things like that. You can just put it in a you know simple program and then you can just uh, have the length of intrinsic function and display the length. So in order to show this uh, difference where I was telling that you know even if it's better to have a uh, odd number of digits as a total so that you don't waste the byte so I'm just making it as s9 of 9 now instead of s9 of 8 I'm just changing it to 9 so 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 1 for the sign so 12 by 2 each uh, in a packed decimal each uh, digit is stored in a nibble so how it takes uh, you know half a byte that is 4 bits okay so now also you will you should get the same result because it is 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 1 is 12 12 by 2 is 6 bytes so let's go to the spool will any change to the program you need to compile it again we just altered the size so there will be no change now because one was even number of digits one was odd number of digits so compilation has gone fine then we'll execute it again. If you see here, the size is not changed. I changed from S9 of 8 to S9 of 9, V9 of 2. Okay. So this was taking 6 bytes. So if I just, if you want me to paste it again. Control C, Control V. This one I changed it to nine. This still occupies six bytes. That's that's the change I did. Okay. So hope you like the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.